Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by and I hope everybody's well today. So I had a nice lady ask me if I could make her a picture frame. And so I started about collecting the dimensions of it and she eventually sent me a picture to photo. And it's an odd shaped oval. And I've got to try to make an oval but get this picture to fit behind it. And uh, she's going to think I'm laughing at her but I'm not. Uh, I asked her how did the picture get in such a odd shape, and she said she done it herself. So, but that's okay. We're going to make a frame that she can put that picture in. So we're going to make this frame out of 5 millimeter Luan plywood, and I think we can make it look nice. We're going to start by grabbing a square and just draw out a rectangle and drop it. Click your selector tool. Go up top. Make sure your lock is off. Make the width 305 millimeters and the height 204. Then with it selected, go over to the offset tool. We're going to make this an offset of 50 millimeters. That's about two inches uh, outward and round. Let me move this up a little bit. Now we want to put a, uh, this is the back side, so we want to put a little indention uh, that, so it can hang on a hook or a nail or something. So we're going to grab a square, draw out a rectangle, leave it kind of large so you'll be able to radius off the corners. Go over to your Shape Properties tab, and if you don't have that, go up to Window, down to Shape Properties and make sure it's checked. So with it selected, you can go to the corner radius and just round it off. Just make it about 10 or so. Should be good. Then you can size it down. 15, 20 millimeters will be fine. We'll just make it 15 and make it a length of 40. Then we'll pull it down to the center. With it selected, shift and select the frame. And then you can go to vertical alignment and center. And that should be fine. Now to get it perfectly centered, uh, you can't select everything because it'll throw it down here in the middle. But you could grab another square and just pull it out to the edges like that. Hit your selector tool. Select your cutout. Shift. Select the line you just added, the square you just added, and then hit bullseye. And it'll put it exactly where you want it. Then you can just select it and delete it out of the way. Delete it. Not deleted. <laughs> Okay, so now we, uh, this is the back side. So we want to copy this and then we're going to add the oval to it. So control D to duplicate. We'll pull us a copy up here. I'm going to pull this one way out of the way. We know that's our back and we don't have to do anything else to it. All right, so now we have another copy we can work with. And I will just delete that. I shouldn't have added it to start with. I should have copied it before I done the other, but that's okay. So now we're going to grab a circle. And you can push shift and just draw out a circle or just drag it and drop it because we're going to resize it. So we're going to make the oval... 240 by 177. So make sure your lock is off, your circle is selected. So 240 by 177. And on this copy, you want to select that inner square, go down to the bottom, and turn it into a tool. 
Then we're going to grab our oval, shift, and grab our tool, and then hit center. And I think for the the piece that goes in the back that will actually hold the picture in, I will uh, probably just cut a piece of cardboard or maybe a piece of uh, three millimeter wood to, uh, to go back in there. And that is about it. Pretty simple, short and sweet. So let's jump in the uh, laser, cut this out, see what it looks like. I'll be right back, folks. Okay, I believe we're ready. So we'll cut the uh, the back piece first, and then come back and cut the front. Okay, let me get this cleaned up and put together, and uh, we'll get a closer look at it. So as I was putting the frame together and waiting for the glue to dry, I contacted the lady to see if she might want some engraving done on it, and she said that would be nice, uh, that she would like to have her and her husband's names and their wedding date on it. Uh, so I talked to her a little bit about styles and fonts and that kind of stuff, and she really didn't have a preference. She just said, do whatever I wanted to and just make it look nice. So, uh, we're going to cut two plates, 20 by 180 millimeters, uh, put the names up top and the date below the oval, and then we will uh, use Academy Engraved Font as a line, not a fill, and uh, then we will put this all together, see what it looks like. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let me clean these up and add them to the frame, and we'll take a look at everything, see how it looks. Okay, well, here's our finished project. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm glad I got back with the lady about the engraving. I think that uh, adds to it, and it'll help her preserve the photo she's been hanging on to since 1965 and not being in a frame. So she's lucky she still has it. So I just glued the two pieces together. Of course, glued the uh, name and the date on it. Let me flip this over, hopefully keep it in frame. Added a piece of cardboard to the back, put some push pins. Of course, we've got our hole here for hanging it on the wall. So I think she's gonna really like it. And um, I'm not gonna charge her for it because I got to hear the story of the photo. So uh, she'll like that even better. So if you give this a try, you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you have questions about anything I've got posted or any general laser or light burn questions, send them to me and I'll, uh, I'll get you an answer or at least try to. So just check back often for new videos. You folks take care and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.